In this video, we're going to talk a little bit about grading guides in Moodle. And specifically, this is an advanced type of grading that you can do with different assignments or forums in Moodle. So to set this up, we're going to imagine that we've given students an assignment in which they have to create breakfast in bed. And we have three categories. We're going to be evaluating them on their food, the presentation, and the comfort. And this little sample assignment that we're using in Moodle and that's provided in the description to this video comes from a blog post by Jennifer Gonzalez called Holistic, Analytic, and Single Point Rubrics. So in this case, again, I have criterion here and I have a description of what the standards for that performance are. And let's take a look at what that might look like in Moodle. So here I'm going to my sample of this single point rubric using a grading guide. And as the instructor, I've already set it up and students have submitted work. So when I go into grade, I see their work and next to it, I see the grading guide. So I see the same categories or same descriptor I had for my category of food. And students would see this part right here. To earn a B or demonstrate proficiency, all food should be at the correct temperature, adequately seasoned, cooked to the eater's preference. And then some additional information about how they can earn extra points. This is the same in what would be in my sample rubric that I planned in advance. But I have some extra information here. Use the recipe and food ratings from the client to give a score. Here's some points. That part is not actually included in the student view. So I have ways that I can give myself extra reminders or information as the grader. Then I have a spot in which I leave my additional feedback for students. I have a place where I'm going to put a score for that individual category. I can save and then insert frequently used comments if that's something that's appealing to you as an instructor, something you do a lot. And I have the same category, same categories for my sample, and I'm going to do that same process, leaving feedback, providing a grade, leaving feedback, providing a grade, and then Moodle will calculate the final grade and put that into the gradebook for students to be able to view. So let's look at how I actually set that up. So I'm going to go back into Moodle, make sure editing is on, and scroll to a part of my course where I can add my activity. I'll choose Assignment, and then set up my assignment in a typical way. So maybe I'm going to do a project in class that has a proposal section, a presentation, something like that. So I'm going to title it, and then scroll down to set my dates, do all of my standard pieces for setting up a Moodle assignment. But in grade, instead of the default simple direct grading, I'm going to choose grading guide. I'll choose that and then save and display because I need to actually set up the grading guide. If I have some I've used before, I can choose grading form from a template and then edit what I've created. In this case, I'm going to define a grading form from scratch. So I will name it, and you can call that whatever will make sense to students. And then I have each of my criterion to put in. So maybe the proposal is the first thing I'm going to explain. And I'll put in some descriptions for students. In this area, you're including just what students will see and what they should know about what you're looking for. The description for grader section will only be seen by you or TAs or other folks who have permission to do grading in your course. Often in this section, I like to include based on the maximum score, what points would be in the range of an A, what points would be in the range of a B, and etc. Et that helps me when I'm trying to think through the scoring for those individual categories later on in the process. You will leave a maximum score for each of the criterion categories or each of the categories in your grading guide. And then you will repeat these steps for each additional criterion. The frequently used comment section is why you might come back to this grading guide and periodically edit it. If you find yourself writing the same comment to students, you can copy it, select add frequently used comment, 
and then paste it here so that it will appear for you in a drop down list when you are actually grading and giving feedback to students. When you're ready, you save the grading guide and make it ready. Students will see a view of the grading guide as they look at the assignment before they add their submission. And they'll see each of your criterion and the explanation that you've given for how they're gonna be graded. As an instructor, this will be ready for you when you get ready to grade. So grading guides can be another way to make your Moodle grading a little bit more efficient when you're trying to grade assignments like projects, essays, and you want to give students some more feedback, but also provide a little bit of consistency.